Hey guys, what's up? Coach Jay from Sweaty Academy back at it with another football video. And you might be wondering why there's no like franchise or any sort of players on the uh, screen. And that's because I decided to make a decision on the football series. I'm going to hold off on it until next year's Madden. Well, not next year's, just next Madden that's going to come up later this year. Because this year's Madden is a... It's not a good game. It's one of the worst Maddens that we've had in a while. It's still fun. I still play it, but... As far as franchise goes, it's harder for me to make a Sweaty Academy franchise for football and Madden than it is for like 2K. 2K is a lot easier, you know, I can download or design my own team and relocate the team and stuff like that. I can't do that for Madden, it takes, for, it takes forever. And on top of the fact, the franchise isn't really all that good. It's better, but it's not that good. So I'm gonna wait till next year's Madden or I'm gonna find another way to do it, but I'll keep you guys posted. But for Sweaty Academy football, we're going to go use the Mutt Draft, and we're going to play about four games with them. Send me, you know, four years, like, you know, until they graduate from Sweaty Academy. And, uh, so I, I realized I did a little CPU, uh, draft thing, and that made the team, like, really easy to play against, and it messed, pretty much messed me up. So I'm going to, like, redraft real quick. Uh, let me see. I don't like Tampa. Let me see. Yeah, prank right, prank right. All right. Starting off this draft, cool. Let's see. You, you gotta go with Mitch Morris in this situation. You got to. Ooh, Darnell Savage, the person I wish the Cowboys be able to draft. He's really good. But then you got Earl Thomas himself. Earl Thomas looking better in literally every single category. But I'm gonna go with Bradley Roby. He, well, no, I'm a, Earl, free safeties are hard to come by, so I'm gonna go with Earl Thomas. I don't think this is much of a question for me. I'm gonna go with DJ Swearinger. Let's see here. I'm gonna bolster the offensive line. I'm gonna put uh, Ryan Kelly at guard, probably. Let's see. You can never go wrong with the middle linebacker. I'm gonna go with uh, CJ Mosley. Oh, Cody Ford. I'm gonna go with Cody Ford. Wait, dang, yet, but he has better awareness. I'm gonna go with uh, Cody Ford, he's a better run blocker. Let's see, Tyler Eifert, I don't think this, they're just giving me easy selections here. This is no hard choice whatsoever. Uh, let me see. Is this about to be like literally all Ravens team? Because Zadarius Smith is, Ooh, Barkevius Mingo. I'm gonna go with Zadarius Smith. Yeah, he's great power moves. Let's actually go pay attention to this to these corners real quick. Let me see. Now this is all about play recognition to me for a corner. It's play recognition and uh zone coverage, and Malcolm Butler has him. You need to be able to cover, like, man cover, too, but it's more about zone coverage for me. Uh, Juju Smith Schuster. Now, this catch in traffic is going to be a big factor, and DK Metcalf is a monster, but I'm going to have to go with the catch in traffic. It's actually the best out of all of them. Come on, Juju. This isn't like any sort of question to me. I love power running backs, and Jerome Bettis is like the best you can get as far as power running backs go. Now, I could go with. Uh, it's between DJ Moore and uh, Tyler Boyd, but they're both pretty much the same type of receiver, except Tyler Boyd is taller. See, speed matters in this game, so I'm gonna have to go with uh, 
Bruce Irvin. Quarter. Are you serious? Like, are we being serious right now? I obviously gotta go with Mitch Trubisky. I'm joking now. I'm picking Kyler Murray. This is an easy draft so far. Like, this is too easy. I almost feel like I'm about to get like destroyed. I'll put, uh, I guess I'll put Ryan Kelly at left guard. Because I'm going with David DeCastro. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. And I need overall. What am I going to do with Ryan Kelly? I could put him at tackle, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll put him at tackle. Let me see. I'm going to have to go with... Uh, who's the best man coverage out of all? Yeah, I'm going to have to put Patrick Sean at... Uh... Oh, wait, hold up. Never mind. I was about to put Patrick Sean at corner. I still might, because our corners aren't good right now. Uh, we haven't been really getting a lot of wide receivers, so let's... Oh, wait, hold up. 98 overall. Jesus. Yeah, no, this is a no-runner. TJ Hawkinson. Mm. We have two tight ends. That could... Yep, no, that's going to be a problem for the linebackers. Let me see... As a Cowboys fan, I really want to pick Jalen Smith. Like, I really want to pick Jalen Smith right now. But I could actually. I could put him at left line, left outside linebacker. Yeah, that's might that might be what I do. I might put CJ Mosley at left outside linebacker. That might be what happens here. Yup. This team is looking nice. This team is looking real nice. I almost feel like the decision was too easy to make. I feel like I'm about to get destroyed in this game. <laughs> Let's get into it. Hopefully real sweaty academy football is better than the last one we had. That program got shut down. Why does it still... I don't know why it does that, though. Can y'all put that in the comments why it shows up? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. That's going to annoy me. I already know what it is. Because I didn't choose to, to make the controls like that. What the heck? What kind of team are we playing? Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of Let's him. Let's go. If that continues, it will be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Why did I back you? I thought he was going to catch that to me. Down to the three. A big play here for Dallas. This is almost too easy. Like, I don't like this. I like a challenge. Defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know they're going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down back and kept them away from him. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. First touchdown in Sweaty Academy history. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score. Go off this year and get the Redskins maybe four wins. Right out of the gate. I don't know. It depends on how much he has to carry him. The Redskins have no wide receiver, so I'm kind of worried about him. But the Cowboys, I was hoping we'd get a safety like Juan Thornhill. He was still on the board. He's a really good ball hawk. Something we, we need. But I guess they believe in Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods is good, but I don't know if he's like the ball hawk that we need. He's just an all-around starting safety. I don't think that, uh, so far from what I've seen from Xavier Woods, he makes enough plays on the ball to be considered a ball hawk. If you know what I'm saying. That's no shade towards him. He's a, he's a starting safety. I said that. I mean, you gotta give him some props. He was a what, a six-round pick, and he's a starting safety. You have to give him some props about that. But he's not the ball hawk that we really need right now. And they'll get him down 
But uh, the Cowboys draft really well. I mean, like, really well. Pretty much all the superstars that we have are drafted. Actually, all of them, except for Amari Cooper. And we got more production out of Amari Cooper in half of the season than any of the first round picks could have gotten this year. So I'm not mad about us having out of the first round pick. What I am mad about, though, is that I thought we still should have got a safety. I like Tristan Hill, but he's not going to be a starter right away. I think he's going to be good, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of worried about how that's going to turn out. I did like the pick on Tony Pollard, though. I thought Tony Pollard was good in college. You know, he's like a Tavon Austin type of guy. He's not the same type of guy since he's a running back. He's more so running back than wide receiver, but he can play wide receiver. And that was a really good pick because I thought we might get uh, Duke Johnson in a trade, maybe. But, geez, I, bet. I think that uh, Tony Pollard is the exact same type of, you know, player as Duke Johnson. So, I think they eliminated the need for a receiving back. We really addressed that. I just think that we need, like, a, a ball hawk. Our defense is really good, but I think our interceptions can make our team a top, I mean, our, our defense a top five defense instead of just a top ten. If that makes sense. Because our linebacker and our defensive line, like our front seven is crazy good. Especially Jalen Smith and Leighton Randerash. I feel like if, we, if our defensive backs can not hold their own, but like, you know, do what they're supposed to do and get interceptions, that will be really good. Well, let me, let me take that back. Their first job is to defend passes. Their second job is to get interceptions. Their second job is just, it hasn't been fulfilled that much, you know what I'm saying? I think Shadobi Awuzi has the most potential out of all of them to become a ball hawk. Him and not Anthony Brown, maybe Jordan Lewis. I think the only two people that are really ball hawks, three people that are only ball hawks as far as the defensive backs go, are Xavier Woods, Shadobi Awuzi, and maybe Michael Jackson if he pans out. They could be the ones that be ball hawks, but that's like an if. It's a big if. so far in this game they are already up a couple of scores brandon and guess what i'm just gonna pin the roof back now and get up field get after the quarterback been such an impressive first half to get that lead. got him for a left side complete that's holmes back with charles davis i'm brandon gordon the colts in possession of the football to begin quarter number two they're looking at a third and six here to start things out Oh, and if y'all are wondering why I don't uh, use the middle linebacker like everybody else does, it's because I'm trash. I'm trash at using the middle linebacker. So I usually just play defensive line and just, you know, go get sacked or something like that. I usually let the middle linebacker do his own job. That's why I like picking good ones instead of just picking random ones. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before loss yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and that was a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Let's go! One, nine! They'll run it now out of the gun. Powers through it. Let's go. We can make it. Let's go. Take it into the end zone for a cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. 26 yards. They so need to the fix that because that is frustrating. On fourth down, they're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. They give the Burton the fullback. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. On oh, the tackle that time, Bruce Irvin. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Got him. It's Carson. No game. Doesn't know what they're getting past that defense on. Especially the way I have set up. Punt situation on four. 
And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making well, a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, I'm expecting to hold the block a little bit more. That would have been holding. In the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprint. I forgot Juju was a slot. <laughs> he doesn't look like a slot at all. Recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Can I be touched now? Yep. Down, Maybe. Field. Yeah, no, I didn't know. I should have picked a possession catch, zone. something like that. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath. I really don't care at this point because I know I'm gonna win. <laughs> this just makes it hard for me to make good decisions. Oh, he caught up to me. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are in Oh! Alright, alright. Let me show. I've been being careless. For several reasons, especially because they felt like they left little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. Back now here on EA Sports. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Come on, let's go. What? None. Here's Murray. Wide open receiver complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Oh, I thought it's how it kind of catch it. And take him to like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete first quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to uh -oh. no victory. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Third and 33. He's the one that runs him down it. My goodness, that will be a huge loss on the play. Now that was something, and it wasn't good. In one play, you've gone from being in the red zone to maybe out of field goal range. Totally inexcusable. Off the play fake. Murray rolling to his right. Wow. Wow. He got as he was That's crazy. It. Play action supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, it's... And look at this. It's a fake. And this is caught, but he will not make the first down marker. That'll be a turnover. It is what it is. That one good for 21 yards. This game is pretty much over, so I don't really care at this point. We usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, they look like they were educated for that one. Get educated on their toes and getting a See those two, this two, <laughs> crap, this two white uniforms thing is, you know, kind of tripping me out a little bit. Because I'll think that we caught it until I look down at the pants and I'm like, oh yeah, it's not one of us. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does. Go. It. It's oh. Over. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And this one will be brought back to the 20. This is just too easy. What am I telling you? This is too easy. This is one where you want to take the game tape and hold it up as an example, do you? I mean, you talk about frustrating all the way through, and that last error. I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely. That's been representative of their entire game still being shut out. This is caught. A good pick up there of 20 yards. 
He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way I want to get at least one rushing touchdown with Kyle Murray. Tell you, run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. So the Cowboys in possession of the I'm probably not going to get this. We get you reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Yeah, no. It's, too, it's just too many people at the line. Losing yardage to the seven. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know. Defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. What in the, why does the quarterback stay there, though? And they go the wrong way on this I mean, like, Losing this happens a lot with uh, running plays. The quarterback will just, like, freeze, or just players in general will just freeze sometimes in place. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Wow. A big mistake. <laughs> wow. I've never He's seen that happen. At his own one yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what I've they never got, seen that happen. They got to set back that was crazy. And have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Back to throw now in his own end zone. Ooh, I'm trying to get the safety. So well, who we got 50 yards on this? Fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Three nineteen. Three nineteen. They'll throw again from their own end zone. No. Come on, man. That was my fault. Six yards. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week. Yeah. Get him. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. So Darius Smith in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And he'll be brought down right at the about to put some points on the board. And I was kind of hoping I would leave him with the donut. This third and long play as we'll get uh, you know, matter of fact, I'm going to try now. I'm going to try. Stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. See, when I said I would try, I mean, like, I would, like, give, like, 5% of you know, you know, he just got to play on. The passing game for the Colts oh, they're in field goal range. First down. If their pick is actually like good. You and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now they're playing for pride. Wow. <laughs> I think he, I'm going to just say he did that on purpose to stop the clock. This one winds up to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. That, uh, see, the same thing this time. He's really just complete. trying to buy time for his team, I guess. I don't know. Maybe didn't I don't know how, but him. what are you doing? Off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. As the I might throw it up top, actually. This has been a tough game. You got him. Mm -hmm. So we successfully shut him out. I don't even trust that they're going to actually like punt it. Wow. Did Marquette King play this year? I don't know if he actually played for a team this year. I think he played for the Broncos. I think. I don't know. Got him. Hey. And that's caught inside the 30. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. 
Well, I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school of me is not happy about this score, this late, <laughs> not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings Exactly. There. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going to hell. <laughs> but that's the virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it up. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought right, analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the oh. team... Oh, is it going to be pick six? Nope, it's not. I can already see it here. Alright, I know there wasn't a lot of competition with this game. Actually, there was no competition. I hope you all still enjoyed the game. Next video is going to be a basketball one, possibly coming today. Um, then we're gonna have the RAG video. Maybe there might be an RAG video after this one. But uh, yeah, it's a, it was an entertaining game to start off. But after that, it was kind of boring. Kyler Murray had a really good game, 147 QB rating, 313 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, Johnny Hacker got one uh, got one throw, 21 yards. Jerome Bettis now rushes for 88 yards. Kyler Murray, seven rushes to notice, six yards. Um, Tyler Effort, five rushes for three yards. Um, TJ Hawkinson got four receptions for 81 yards. It's, you know, pretty much everybody else just whatever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It was a pretty, pretty boring game. But we'll be good for next game. We'll be good for next game. And I'll see y'all next time.